Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'll try to add a couple of external antennas to my internet router. So this is a Netgear uh, DGND3700 uh, router that I bought a couple of uh, years ago and uh, this model is kind of an uh, outdated model right now. Uh, so this router does not have any kind of uh, external antennas. Um, as such, the range is not that great. So I've kept this router, um, I usually keep it in the ground floor and I get very uh, feeble signals uh, here in my room um, since there is a concrete uh, roof uh, beneath and also two brick walls uh, that separate uh, the router and this room. So I thought um, of adding an external antenna um, that could probably increase the range. Um, so this is a dual uh, band router which works on 2.4 gigahertz as well as uh, 5 gigahertz. I'm not expecting too much of uh, an increase in the range but I hope uh, I will at least be placed within the boundary of the signals. So I bought these uh, two high gain um, uh, antennas here. So the longer one here that you see, uh, this is the 2.4 gigahertz 14 dBi antenna. And these two are the dual band uh, 6 dBi uh, antennas. So these support uh, 5.8 gigahertz frequency as well. So I'm going to use this two 6 dB antennas for the 2.4 gigahertz frequency and I probably won't use this uh, longer antenna uh, because um, I just want to try out uh, with this uh, smaller antennas first and then probably I'll switch over to the longer antenna to just gauge the um, strength, uh, increase in the strength of the signals. Additionally, I also bought these uh, UFL mini PCI to RP SMA pigtail antenna cables. So these antennas can be screwed on to one of the end here like this and the other end uh, basically goes to the socket on the Wi-Fi chipset uh, board. So a short while ago I just uh, kind of measured the signal strength uh, that I currently get here on this table. Uh, so I have installed an app called Wi-Fi Analyzer and I got a signal strength of about minus 75 to 80 dB. So now I have opened the outer case and um, now we can see the Wi-Fi chipset here. So let me zoom in a little bit. Right. So now these two are the antenna connectors for the 5 gigahertz uh, band and these two are the connectors for the 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency. Now let me just go ahead and um, disconnect these two cables. It's uh, as simple as just pulling this very carefully. So I've removed these two pigtail uh, connectors. So the next step is to mark two points on this case for me to drill the hole. So on these two holes I'll be fixing these two uh, connectors here. So let me go ahead and mark the points where I need to drill the hole. So now I got to drill a hole somewhere in between these two components here and another hole somewhere at this point. So let me go ahead and mark the points. So let me go ahead and drill the holes now. So I'll use a smaller driller bit and later on I'll switch to a bigger one. So now I'm switching to the bigger drill bit here. I think I still need to make this hole a little more bigger because it's still not going inside. So let me go ahead and clean up this uh, mess here. So there we are with the cleaned up uh, uh, stuff. So I also had to chop this uh, kind of a wedge that was coming in the path of this hole. Uh, so now I have made it uh, neat and clean. So let's uh, just go ahead and uh, fix the connectors now. So this is the first one. 
so let me zoom in a little bit and I just have to put in this uh, nut here and just tighten it and similarly the other one I'll use some pliers to tighten it a little bit more so there we are with the connectors in place and all we have to do is now connect this back to our uh, chipset so I think I also removed the other two antennas for the 5 gigahertz band so let me go ahead and connect those two as well this is a new one that I'm trying to connect now so there we are with the connected cables I had to use a little bit of pliers in order to press this into the socket um, so let me go ahead and um, put this cover back in place So now I have placed the router case back in position and let me go ahead and put these screws. So let me now connect the antennas. So the antennas are in place and now it's just a matter of putting back this router back in the same place. I'll just go ahead and power this on and come back and um, measure the signal strength right here on this table. Hey guys, uh, I'm back after powering on the router, uh, so with the antenna and you can see that now uh, the signal strength is about minus 70 dB. So roughly we have gained about uh, 5 dB uh, signal strength, I would say, uh, which is uh, pretty good is what I think. Uh, this is not exceptional, but uh, I'm pretty much happy with the gain that I've got by placing these uh, two antennas. Uh, on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, band so i hope uh, this video was useful to you just in case if you are also planning to do similar um, antenna upgrade to your old router if you have any so thanks for watching this video and i will see you in my next video